maintain it periodically. All families should have a prearranged home escape plan. Discuss and draw the plan together. Decide which are the quickest routes to the outside from each room in the house, especially from the bedrooms. The plan should include a designated meeting place where everyone must go when they get out of the house. You want to have two ways out of your house and everybody should go through this, walk through this plan. Um, you want to tell them that if you wake up in the middle of the night and you get to your door and the door is hot, that don't open the door because there could be fire outside the door. Uh, go to a window, um, call the fire department if you can. Uh, the fire department will come and get you. If you are caught in smoke in your home, get down on the floor and crawl out. Stay low. Don't jump out windows. Have a metal escape ladder available to climb down. And once you are out of your home, do not go back inside for anything. Stay at your meeting place. This helps the fire department make sure everyone is accounted for. Fire extinguishers can be used to put out small fires or to contain them until the fire department arrives. Fire extinguishers are not designed for large fires or growing fires. A fire extinguisher should be kept in a location that's in plain view and within easy reach. It should be near escape routes and away from stoves and children. When using your home extinguisher, make sure you read the directions. You're going to pull the pin. You're going to aim. You're going to squeeze and sweep at the base of the fire. Remember, always have your back to an exit. In case the fire gets out of hand, you have a way out. Also, it's important to check the label to see what class of fire the extinguisher can put out. Using a fire extinguisher on the wrong class of fire can make the fire worse. I had an electrical fire that started in my basement. Uh, approximately four years ago in my home. And it was a very fast moving fire. It was a summer day, very nice weather. I was standing outside on the curb with a friend of mine and I could hear a beeping noise, which I didn't realize was my smoke detector. I thought it was a phone, somebody was paging. I stood out here actually for a while just waiting for somebody to find their phone until my mother came running out and told me that we were on fire. Then it all made sense that it was my smoke detector. Foolishly, I ran in and tried to rescue some photos that were in my front room. Uh, didn't do that for very long because it got pitch black in my kitchen and I couldn't breathe. It was an instinct to run in there to grab the pictures, but I know that that's not the right thing to do. It, it was very scary. I realized when I was doing it that that was a mistake, and that's why I stopped and I went outside. The fire started down here in my basement in this back room, which was part of my laundry room at the time. There was a shelf that we kept electrical appliances on. One of the appliances had caught fire. My mother didn't know not to put water on an electrical fire. She thought she was gonna help and put it out because it was burning right there. She put water on it from a hose in the sink and it took off. It just went all 